Okay, we got the uh, brand new 8460 new cab. So this is the same right hand console out of the new Kloss cab. We got more leg room. We have swiveling of the seat all the way over to the right, all the way over to the left, new fridge, new joystick, but most importantly, new cell phone holder and charger. So it's uh, charging up there. To get it out, you just tap on the bottom and those little arms go in and out. Pretty slick. All right, we're um, in the new 8460, so model year 2025. And this is the new A-Post terminal and the new joystick. So now this dial right here is gonna control everything we see on this screen up here. This is our main spray page. So everything we wanna see from the ISO bus, like our you know pressure, our rate, our you know target rate, the tank levels are right here, the sections, the boom height control. Everything is now shown on the main screen here. So the amount of times you gotta look at this ISO bus screen down here, probably less, and we'll just show our mapping on this page down here. All your ISO bus functions will be up on this one. So if I spin that dial, these are our camera views. So the booms are folded up right now, but this will be a boom tip camera. So it'll show you what that outside tip of these 150 foot booms is gonna hit. The next one, oops, I'm going to my camera again. Then you can spin through, we have a rear view camera and we have a front tire camera. If I hold down the I button, it brings up all the joystick functions. So this is the front of the joystick, back of the joystick. And if I scroll over, it'll show you all the right hand console functions. Okay, we're just doing the uh, PDI on this sprayer in the toolbox. It now comes with a little laminated, oops, laminated sheet and it's showing you where all the grease points on the machine are. Super handy. So this is a new option this year in Canada but uh, 150 feet on the booms now. It's the very first one we're uh, unfolding right now. There it goes. So this is 150 feet, that outside section will flex up and down. So we got the new 150 foot boom, new option for this year. So it's a factory warranty on this thing at 150 feet for three years. Uh, we're just testing the nozzles on it today. So this one's a 2100 gallon tank, 460 horsepower engine. Dennis is using the app here to test the nozzles. So we're making sure these fertilizer streamer tips are all working correctly. So let's go all the way down. We'll test all these sections. Go right down to the end here. It takes a while to walk, 150 feet. These booms keep getting bigger every year. So it's a steel boom until we get to this outside section. It goes to aluminum and our breakaway out here on the end. On the end, this is kind of a new option this year, but this is our ultrasonic sensor. We try to put it as close as possible to the boom tip. It's looking forward instead of straight down. And this is a new option for this year too. This is a boom tip camera. So it sits right over top of our outside nozzle. So it's looking forward to see if you're gonna hit a fence post or not. So you have a monitor in the camera and you can see if you're too far in or too far out. But yeah, it's 150 feet. So here it is, 150 feet. It doesn't look that big. I'm sure once I get in the field, I'll say, hey man, I want like a 180 foot boom or something. So just get, letting a semi sneak by here. Dennis is gonna bring her back up. So the next thing we're gonna do is a rate control test, make sure it's holding rates with all the different auto select profiles. So 
So we'll try that next. So we're doing our first field here with the 150 foot boom. inch boom height doing about 11 mile an hour on the headland right now <laughs> oh you know it We got uh, the 150 foot boom going today with the flex on the outside tip there. Just getting it started up in Manitoba. Now? 17.2. 17.2. So the 20 inch boom height with 150 feet out there on the boom. Pretty flat field though, so boom height control isn't a challenge, but what we're seeing is that tip staying completely level at 150 feet. So we're going about 10 mile an hour right now. It's a 150 foot boom at a 10 inch boom height. So pretty flat fields, but still we're pretty comfortable right now at pretty low boom heights, you know, 10 inch boom heights, 10 miles an hour. Not worried about the boom hitting the ground at all right now. We have our new 150 foot boom, checking tips. So this is 150 feet, 1700 gallon tank, the flex boom. Just got another 150 footer set up and running here. Just delivered it today. First 100 acres sprayed. It's a new 150 footer just set up. Looks nice on the coverage. Bit of dust coming off those back tires, but it's dry out here. I think the 150s are gonna sell. It's 150 foot boom we got going here. Look at the drift coming off these nozzles. A bit of dust coming off the tires, but these nozzles look like straight down. We're running at a 24 inch boom height with 150 feet on the boom. This is about 5.1 gallons an acre right now. Looks like it's doing a great job. Got boom flex working there, 150 feet. Mm 
All right, new uh, 153 foot boom. Spraying through that ditch, you can see it flex in there. New one delivered today. So we're setting up this new 153 foot boom, or 150 foot, we got extra nozzles on the end. What we're doing now, we just sprayed down this pass here. We're gonna check our section control. So we sprayed a pass going north south here. Don is gonna flip around now. He's gonna come around me and spray a pass going east west right in front of me here. And hopefully straight down this line, our section control turns off at the right spot when it hits this line. We'll see. Doing some more section control testing. Should line up right here. Should turn his master switch on now. Hope I don't get truck stuck in here. <laughs> Hold on, boys. We're spraying over beehives in alfalfa today. 10 mile an hour, 150 foot booms. So we're going about 17, 18 kilometers an hour. It's about 11, 12 mile an hour, 26 inch boom height. 150 foot boom and we're spraying up and over top of beehives just like that up over telephone poles down through a dip about 21 kilometers an hour same 26 inch boom height Twenty. So 150 feet, 26 inch boom height, about 25 kilometers an hour. Flex out there on the outside. It's 22 kilometers an hour.
this side is really stable. It's looking good, eh? Yeah. 